Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Val Ramos and today's music producer tutorial, I wanna to discuss how you can apply bus tracks to the actual display screen on Logic Pro. So the intent of this tutorial is to show you how you can actually apply automation to certain bus channels through the overall display screen on Logic Pro. So for example, if you would like to automate reverb that's on your vocals, for example, and you'd like it to be bigger at certain moments and less at other moments, what you can do here is go to the actual bus channel, right click on the screen down here and then select create track. Now it's gonna ask you, do you want to, if the current track is frozen, unfreeze it. So you can unfreeze this and then this creates this reverb bus channel right here that is displayed on the main screen. So now, for example, if you want to adjust the individual reverb settings that's applied on this bus channel, for, so for example, the chroma verb, say you want to increase the attack or increase the delay at certain moments. So now all I have to do is just simply apply automation like you would on a normal channel, say an audio or a MIDI file. So you can go here, go to attack, and then you can increase the attack from 12% to 55%, bring it back down, etc. So all you have to do again is go to the actual bus channel itself, go to the very bottom, right click, hit create track, and that will display a reverb channel. Now, another channel that I always like to have displayed at all times is a stereo out. And that's because sometimes I'll apply individual automation settings to this actual stereo out channel. This is a bonus tip. So in order to display the stereo out channel on your Logic Pro display screen, you're going, if you're on MacBook Pro or MacBook, you're going to select Man, Shift, and M. Man, Shift, and M will display the stereo out, or you could say master channel, but it is the stereo out channel. And then you can apply individual reverb settings that are on the stereo out channel to your Logic Pro project. So you have it. Do you have any other comments, questions, tips or tricks to share with the audience, then please leave those in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Through fire and through flame, I'll rise up and defend my name. In war and in death, I'll stand strong until my last.